Hi guys, thank you for stopping by my channel. Today I'm featuring my late March sock design pattern and I'm gonna show you how I create this clever little slip stitch pattern detail that I'm calling the U-stitch. Sometimes it can be tricky to comprehend how to create this stitch in written form, so I'm going to give you a visual demo to help, help explain how I create this stitch. So I'm at the point in my pattern where I'm creating those long floats in front of my work and I use slip stitches to create those floats. And this is how I do it. I've knit my first three stitches per pattern and now I bring my yarn in front and I slip the next five stitches as if to purl. Then I take my yarn to the back and knit the next two stitches. That gives me this long float in the front. And I'm going to do that again. And a trick for keeping this float nice, the tension nice on this float, not too tight or not too loose, is to imagine like you're doing color work knitting or fair isles stranded knitting. And I spread my stitches out on my right hand needle to give me the just the right amount of real estate that I need to keep that tension nice on that float. So I'll show you what I mean. Uh, I bring my yarn to the front, I slip the next five stitches purlwise, and then I just make sure my stitches on my right hand needle are spread out, give them some space, bring the yarn to the back without pulling too tight, and knit my next two stitches. That gives me that nice float there. I'm gonna do that, create that float two more times on this row. Knit two, and here I'll do it one more time for you. Bring the yarn to the front, slip the next five stitches as if to purl. Spread my stitches out a touch, bring my yarn to the back, knit my last three stitches on this needle. That will give you this long float. And in a couple more rounds, I will do the U-stitch, which will pick up that float and give the pattern this look. I've knit a couple rounds and I'm at the point in my pattern where I'm going to be making that U-stitch to pick up this float. So per pattern, I'm going to knit five stitches. And here we go, this is gonna be the U-stitch on this stitch. I take the needle from front to back under the loose strand and then I knit the next stitch and then I bring that stitch out and under the strand and off the needle. And I'll knit the next two stitches here. And you can see how that float was picked up. And I'll show you that a few more times. So I'm going to knit a couple stitches, come to my U-stitch. I'm going to take my right hand needle underneath this float and go into my next stitch as if to knit. I'm going, I'm actually, I mean, I go into my next stitch and I knit it and I bring it off the needle and out and under from that strand. I'm going to go into the next couple stitches here, just knit across. I'm ready to make my U-stitch. I take my right needle underneath that float in front, that strand of yarn. I knit the next stitch, bring it out, bring it out under that strand and off. I'll do that again. This is the last time for the round here. Knit two, U-stitch under that float, knit the next stitch, take it out and under that strand and off the needle. Knit to the end. That little trick gives you this cool effect. It's a precious little stitch and it's actually way easier than it looks. Thank you very much for watching, for coming to my channel. Thank you for your support, and I hope you knit a pair of late March socks. Thank you.